Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see how to implement lazy loading of images using JavaScript. Let's get started. We are going to focus mainly on JavaScript. So, I have already defined navigation bar and section with the text lazy loading of images. And in Styler CSS, I have defined all the required CSS for this session. So, let's go to index.html. And here let us define the section with the CSS class section lazy and inside this section we are going to have the two div containers like one for the content and one for the image. So let's have content div and plus we are going to have the div for the image and inside the content we are going to have some random test let's say lorem. Here we are going to have the image. image. And to show any image, we need to use the src attribute and we need to set the image path. So src and here we are storing the all the images under the images folder. So I am going to assign one of the image. So images slash cat.jpg save it and let's run this html file. Now we have the header and we have the content and image. So we are loading this image normally and we are not applying the lazy loading. So now what I do just remove this src and let's repeat this section five times. Now let us change the order of this image container in alternative sections. So just cut it and have it as first element. So similarly make changes in all places. And before we implementing lazy loading using JavaScript, we need to do one more thing that we need to define the data src attribute on each image element. So and data iphone src and we are going to store the actual image path so we have all the images stored under the images folder images slash for the first element we are going to have cat.jpg similarly let us define this data src attribute with image path for all the image elements here it should be swan listen understand finally implement so let's go to app.js and as a first step, let us access all the image elements with the data src attribute. So const image elements document dot query selector all and we are going to access them with the image data src attribute data iphone src. And here we are going to define intersection observer. So const lazy loading observer equal to new intersection observer and it takes two parameters a callback function and options as object so let's define callback function and then let us define the object for options and again this callback function will take two parameters entries and observer and to observe any element we need to use the observe method of intersection observer as a first step let us observe the first image element and also we can observe only one element at a time right so lazy loading observer dot observe we need to use the observe method and here we are going to say image elements of zero let us print these entries we already discussed about intersection observer in our previous video Please watch it. I will leave a link in the description of the video. So let's go to the browser and press F12 and in the console we can see that array of 1. Since we are observing only one element, we can see the array of 1 and when you expand it, we can see the target. Our target is nothing but the image element that we are observing. And then if we just expand this target under the data set, we can see the src property with image path that we set right what we are going to do whenever this image element is available in the viewport then we are going to read this image path from the data set and then we are going to assign it to the src attribute first access the entry const so we have this entries at the zero position so entry equal to so entries of zero and then we need to implement the logic here so if not entry dot is intersecting which means if the entry is not in the viewport then do nothing just return otherwise just retrieve the image path from the data src attribute entry dot target is the element data set is the object sorry dot src and assign this value to the src of the target so entry dot 
target dot src and whenever this line get executed we are going to see the image on the screen so just minimize this and see now actually i have the auto save option enabled now just remove this src just save it now we don't see that and now data dot src dot just make src now if you observe as soon as i save it you can see the image for the first element save it there you go now what happened since we are observing this first image element whenever this image element is available in the viewport then this callback function of intersection observer will fire and since it is available in the viewport it comes here and it takes the src value from the data set and then it will assign that one to the target src so just refresh even though we are showing the image is in the intersection observer we don't see that lazy loading effect properly so for that let us define the threshold property so using threshold property we can decide when this observer function should fire whenever this image element is available 90% then only load the image so 0.9 save it so just scroll down so once it is available 90% then only we can see the cat image right till now we are observing only one element let us observe the all the image elements so we need to use the for each on this image elements so image elements dot for each since we can observe only one element at a time we need to use this for each and let's have the callback function and where we can receive the image and here let us take this entire code and now instead of image elements just image and this time we are going to receive the entries five entries right so because we have the five elements we are going to receive the five entries so now we can see that we have the five intersection observer entries so now since we are receiving the five entries object so it always take the first object so let's change this logic so we need to iterate through the entries object to so entries dot for each and it gives the entry so now we don't require this cut it and just paste it here save it and just load it there we go now we can see that all the images are getting loaded as soon as we scroll so this way you can simply implement the lazy loading of images but we are not able to see this blur effect right so we don't see the blur effect so for that what we are going to do we are going to define one css class so lazy image and here i am going to use the filter property with the blur and say 10 pixel and let's add the css class by default to all the image elements class so let's and let's apply this for all the image elements and now let's go and see here now we can see that blur effect here blur border you can see and as soon as you just load it we can see the blur effect but we don't see that blur effect is removed whenever image is loaded so we can see that image is completely loaded still we have that blur effect right because we need to remove that lazy image css class and for that we can use the load event of image go to app.js and here let us listen to the load event of image element so our image element is nothing but our target so integer target dot add event listener and this will fire as soon as the image completely loaded then let's have the callback function entry dot target dot class list dot remove lazy image and refresh now just load it so as soon as it image loaded then we can see that lazy image css class is removed if you compare our working version with the finished version here you can see that blurred image by default right so blurred image of cat or blurred image of swan so we can see them by default so this is how many websites will follow right so they will show the blurred image by default and whenever the image loads completely then they will remove that blur effect to achieve that we can have the two versions of images small size and big size under the images folder i have already having the cat small jpg and cat jpc similarly for all the images i have the two versions let us have that src attribute by default so 
src images slash so instead of having this actual image cadre jpg which is big in size we can have the small size image so we can have cat small dot jpg similarly we can have for all the image elements so let me make the changes there we go now we can see that by default we can see the blurred image but as soon as it completely loaded now we can see that clear image right for the better readability purpose what we can do we can just take out this entire callback function and we can define outside const lazy loading image equal to just have this refer here save it and it works as usual just refresh so let us quickly check the elements tab and see how it works if you observe this element which is the cat image and this is the cat image right here we can see that by default we have the lazy image css class applied and as soon as you just scroll down so the lazy image class is removed and even src value also changed so it changed to images slash cat.jpg from images slash cat.small.jpg so before we winding up i would like to show you one thing let's remove this console log statement so let's have a console log statement inside the for each so console log, log called go to browser load the images now you can see that call statement is fired and we have loaded all the images right now just clear this and just scroll up you can see that again this call statement is getting printed even though we have loaded all the images right and if you just clear and again if you go down so each time this observing element which is nothing but this image elements are coming in and going off of the view port this console statement is getting printed which means this observer callback function is getting fired so we know it to call this callback function of intersection observer once the observing element is available in the view port right now once this image is loaded then we should stop that callback function from firing so for that what we need to do we need to unobserve or unsubscribe the observing element from the intersection observer so for that we can use this observer and here our image load completes inside this load event so let's add it here observer dot unobserve and we are going to unobserve the target which is nothing but our element so entry dot target save it now let's have this console log statement and let's go here just refresh now just scroll down now you can see that we can see this call is fired five times and just scroll up or scroll down even though our observing elements are goes off and comes in we don't see this called function is firing so once the image is loaded what we are doing we are just unsubscribing for that so that's the reason that callback function of intersection observer won't fire so this is the best practice we need to follow so this way we can implement the lazy loading of images in javascript using the intersection observer api if you like my explanation please hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching